Greetings fellow ukuleleans, Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new tutorial. Today I'd like to talk about four different chord progressions done four different ways. And um, that first chord progression I played, A minor, F, C, E minor, fairly straight ahead. No problem there, I'm sure you all understand what's going on. But we're going to learn how to do that in other ways too. And then I have three other chord progressions, so this is going to be longer than just this one video. I'll have to uh, cut it up probably into two or three videos. It's four chord progressions, uh, mostly of four chords a piece, so that's like uh, 16 chords, and then done four away, so that's uh, four times 16. That's going to be an awful lot of chords. So this is a good way to get good at your instrument, to uh, no different voicings and no different inversions. We've talked about these subjects before, but I'd really like to apply it. I'd like to get into the practical way that you yourself can practice this at home rather than talk about it theoretically or say that it's a good idea to know this stuff. Let's show uh, what this can do for you. So that first way, uh, A minor, 2-0-0-0. I'm sure all of you know that by now. Good chord to know if you don't, though. Uh, beginner, that's a beginner type chord. F, 2-0-1-0. Uh, Standard F. Uh, C, very friendly chord, 0 0 0 3. No problem. And then E minor, which is 0, 4, 3, 2. There are other ways to play E minor, but we'll check those out later. So yeah, that was the four chord chord progression. You can strum it, you can finger pick it, you can do it in 3, 4 time, 4, 4 time, 9, 8 time, whatever you like. You can do it as a ballad, you can do it as reggae, you can do it as an uh, electronic dance music, techno thing. It's totally up to you how you, how you do this. Uh, I strummed it in the intro. I just strummed it as like a moderate rock song. You could finger pick it. Kind of more piano-like if you do it that way. Or piano ballad, you know, like a big hair metal rock ballad from the 80s or 90s or something. Um, so there you go. There's the progression. So let's check out another way to do those same chords. I'll... Um, Play it first, and then we'll talk about it. So what was going on there was I changed the A minor voicing instead of 2-0-0-0. I did 2 0 3 my favorite little A minor voices. I love that one. If you've never tried it, I highly encourage you to. Plain old A minor, that's fine, but you add that other note, that higher note, it makes it ring. It has a nice resonance to it. And also, it's good uh, for uh, moving around, like this kind of situation. to know. So there's your new A minor. And then for new F, uh, we do our same old F, the 2010 F, but you add your pinky to the third fret of the A string to give you one of my favorite F chords. I use this one all the time, all the time. I call it a pinky F. So like just that, the uh, new A minor to the pinky F. different from our old way. This one lacks that high note, that high C. And the new one has the high C. Instantly different. That totally transforms. Um, it's such a little difference, you know, but in retrospect, it kind of seems like a small difference. But in sound, to me, those are two almost different chord progressions, even though technically they're both A minor to F. They both have different characters, so already we're starting to widen our palette here. We're starting to open up our possibilities. Two very different sounds using the same chords. Um, our C was this one. Up the neck, as we call it. Going up the neck past that uh, uh, open position. And so this would be 0, 4, 3, 3. Nice entryway into up the neck chords. If you're a little afraid of them or never have done them before, this is a good... Uh, um, kind of step in that direction. And then my E minor, I did our old E minor, which was 0, 4, 3, 2. And I just added 4 on the G string to give us 4, 4, 3, 2. 
No open strings. This is a totally closed uh, position. It's a good one, though. You should know it. And then um, uh, the reason why you should know it is because it's movable. You can do E minor, F minor, G minor. It's very movable. Those closed position chords have that. One other uh, uh, quick commercial here for closed position chords is it's easier to make them swing. If you have no open strings, you can shorten your chords like this. So that can be a pretty cool thing to, to know how to do is to shorten your chords. For jazz, for swing, for reggae, for funk, a lot of different reasons you would want your chords not to ring long and uh, instead to make them short. Closed position chords are perfect for that. All right, so moving on to way number three.